Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6 tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about a controller. As we know Laravel is an MVC framework so in the MVC framework the letter C stands for controller. It acts as a directing traffic between views and models. Controller is basically the central unit here you can write your logic, call your database data, you can call your models and also you can pass the view from the controller so lots of things that you can do from controller all right now i am going to create a controller so switch to the command prompt and in the command prompt just type a command so the command is php artisan make colon controller and here is a controller name okay let's say controller name is home controller now press enter okay controller created successfully okay switch to the, our project and let's find the home controller so go to go to the app folder then http and then controllers okay open the controllers folder and you can see here home controller open the home controller okay inside the home controller you will see that some codes are written here by default okay all right so after that just make a function here so I am just going to make a function inside a home controller. Uh, we can start here a function. <coughs> we can start a, a function inside the controller uh, with public, private, and protected as access specifier. Okay. By default, this is a public. So whether you write public or not, it all up to you. So just type here public then function and function name let's say index and here curly bracket start and close okay and just return here a string hi there it's home controller okay this is a simple uh, a string okay which will return by this method now save this file all right now we will have to define a route for this controller if uh, you want to know more about the routing then you can watch my previous video uh, which is on laravel routing all right now you have to go inside the route folder open web.php and here just press enter and there is a routing uh, which is created for the welcome page and uh, you can see here uh, this is the welcome page okay now switch to the our project and uh, now we have to create routing for the home controller so just write here route colon colon get and here is the uri which is the suppose home and write here callback method no no because here I am using controller so just type here controller name within the single quote home controller and just type here at the rate and method name index okay you can see here in home controller index this is the method okay now and uh, at the end just put here semicolon to terminate this now save it 
okay let's check so switch to the browser and just type here slash home and see hi there that's a home controller now let's see <coughs> All right. Now we learn how we can pass the parameter in the controller. So for passing parameter, we have to modify the route as well as controller method. So let's let's change web.php file and just go here and just write forward slash and write curly bracket inside the curly bracket. Type parameter name just say parameter name is uh, name okay now save it and go to the home controller and just pass here the parameter name with the dollar sign okay and uh, you can print this name and your name is your name is space concatenation sign and then print name okay now save it and just go to the browser and just pass here after forward slash name any name just say Jennifer press enter and now you can see here hi there is home controller and uh, your name is Jennifer okay if you want to make parameter optional so just add dollar sign with the parameter so switch to the web.php and just add here question mark sign save it and now go to the home controller and just put here name dollar name is equal to null and now save this okay so let's check switch to the browser and just refresh the page you can see here it's working now remove this parameter and you can see here it's still working okay all right you can see that uh, it's working with the parameter or without parameter so that's all about laravel controller so thanks for watching this video and if you will still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching